My God! <laughs> <laughs> I was so shocked to see how much weight Nicole had lost on her own. Look hey. at her. Nicole, are you kidding me? Have you seen yourself lately? You're tiny. How much have you lost? Do you even know? Yeah, I've lost 87 pounds. Holy at home. At home. And she came back second highest percentage here. She's number two in the house. What? When they said that I came in number two and Tara was like, I'm number one. She was like, I I'm number one, by the way. I was like, oh. That's Tara. <laughs> I was like, okay. This week. <laughs> That's Tara. I can only imagine what Tara must be feeling right now. Should I really not be scared about Nicole? And I did approach her this morning. Nicole, poor thing. I mean, imagine, you walk in this house, and you walk into all this drama and all these things that have happened, and you don't know what's going on. You really don't. You have no idea. I know. She has no idea. And she obviously has that drive. And like, that drive, you know, that's that's me. That's me. That, that's me. There's another, there's another Tara. Honey, you're manic. She's extremely fragmented. And I think that she keeps herself busy, and she's got all this nervous energy, and she gets caught up in all these activity traps and all this drama. And she's never really focusing on the feelings that are bubbling up inside of her. It's one thing to work out six hours a day. It's one thing to be an incredible athlete. You know, these, these are all wonderful things. But when you're working out eight hours and 10 hours and obsessive compulsive about different aspects of the game, there's nothing that's quiet for you. Being in this situation, I mean, it's been 13 weeks now of feeling just like you're in a corner, and I haven't let my real self come out because I have been defensive the entire time. I haven't had a, a second, like, to breathe, and now that I finally said, screw it, I want to focus on myself, and I want to figure out why I'm at this standstill and why I gained 100 pounds, 100 plus pounds in a matter of a year and a half, because if I don't figure that out, I'm so afraid that I'm going to go home and let it happen again. And then what the hell was the purpose of me, all my hard work? And I want to figure it out so bad, but I don't know what it is. You know how frustrating that is? To realize that, yeah, there is a problem, and I don't know why. I have no idea why. Listen to me. I hate it. I hate not knowing. I just want to change, like truly, truly change. I don't want to ever be what I was, and it's scary just to think that. Do I have enough time really to change now? Like, is it going to be enough time to, to recognize it, to go back? And like, I'm so scared I'm going home. I'm so Nothing scared. Listen to me, though. Hang on. The fact that you are aware that there is a bigger issue at work here is pivotal. I think today was really big with T because she finally acknowledged that there are bigger issues at work. Allowing that to be so, for Tar to be vulnerable and to admit and to become aware and to acknowledge these things, that's a first step. I'm proud for you. <laughs> no, thank God for you.